Genesis chapter 12, verse 2 says, I will bless you, make your name great, and you will be a blessing. You know, God promised to bless Abraham and make his name great for one reason, so that he would be a blessing to others. Jesus taught his disciples to be distributors of blessing and first responders to people in need. That's why he often involved them in the miracle process. He was training them. You see, in feeding the 5,000, the miracle of multiplication took place after the bread and the fish left the disciples' hands. Jesus was the source, but they were the distributors. And God is calling you and me to be a distributor as well. Sometimes we don't recognize our blessing because it's in seed form. So we conclude that we don't have what it takes. But that's just not so. Jesus said, this is what the kingdom of God is like. A man scatters seed on the ground night and day. And whether he sleeps or gets up, the seed sprouts and grows, though he doesn't know how. All by itself, the soil produces grain. First the stalk, then the head, then the full uh, grain. And as soon as the grain is ripe, he puts the sickle to it, because the harvest has come, the scripture says. Note the words, the seed sprouts and grows, though he does not know how. You see, instead of saying, how could God possibly use me? Become aware and alert to people's needs, because you have something God can use. And when he blesses it, well, you'll be amazed at your potential. The miracle of the loaves and the fishes began with, uh, when someone said, these people need to be fed. And that's when the disciples discovered Jesus could use what they had, even though it seemed inadequate. I'm Ray Jones, and that's another heart truth for your day.